The whole team did this compilation of dances. Addie had choreographed some of it, and I think CJ had choreographed the other part. Um, and we danced in front of this huge crowd, and w people went nuts. I mean, we played OU that day, and people went nuts over our performance, and I was like appalled, like just had no idea what kind of reaction we were gonna get, and they were so excited at and To be able to perform for a crowd like that is the whole reason that I did this in the first place. So that was like probably one of the most surreal moments um, during my time on the team. Uh, my mom is awesome. She is an ER nurse. She works 12 hour shifts at night and she works a lot of overtime so that I can have the ability to go to school and do POM and not have to work full time. Um, and so I'm, I'm really thankful that she's so willing to support me um, and my dad is the same way. He works so hard and is there for every football game and loves to be involved in my life. And so I'm, I'm just so thankful to have my parents there and to have them supporting me. Becky, she spends so much time being a full-time teacher, a full-time mom and a wife. And not only that, um, but she spends time trying to get to know each and every one of us on a personal level. Um, she's served as a mentor to many of us and so I can't thank her enough for all the time and the energy she puts in doing more than what's asked of her. Dave and Tony, there are not a lot of places that treat their spirit program with the respect and the honor that you guys treat us with. Um, it has been such a privilege to learn under you, to work under you. I can truly say that Coming into this program, I came in here to dance, but I had no idea the kind of friendships that I would make. Julia, I don't know if I would have ended up changing majors or if I would have just not enjoyed everything as much, but I am so thankful that God placed us in each other's paths the way he did, um, from spending all night in the journalism building and getting up for morning workouts um, and just trying to get through that together. I. I'm so thankful for you and Mads, you're probably the, the sweetest person I've ever met in my life and I cannot wait to see what you do in the future. Bailey, <laughs> oh man, I if there is anyone on this team that I know will make it in life, it is actually Bailey Huff. <laughs> Bailey is the funniest, craziest girl I've, I, I know, and um, but she's also a spectacular friend. Rachel, I'm so glad that I made the team with you. You're hilarious. Um, you're loving and so kind and thoughtful, and I know that you're going to do amazing things next year during football season. Um, my advice to all of the girls on the team right now um, that will be next year don't take it for granted. It goes by really fast and um, you, you don't want to miss any second of it and cherish each girl on the team because this is truly um, your family. This has been my family in college. I can't really explain how I felt in that moment, but what I can explain is I did not know what was going to come next and what has come next has forever changed my perspective and has forever changed my life from the way I view professionalism to the way I view friendships. This program has changed that for me. And when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. Honestly, I'll never forget. Um, they called five of us back into the room. They were about to announce the new Pistol Pete. And I looked to the left, and one of the judges, his name is Scott Petty, he looks at me and he winks. And, and I'm like, is he looking at me? Like, I, you know, I wasn't sure what was going on. And sure enough, they, you know, they announced my name. It started just like that. 
Uh, didn't skip a beat from that point on. I was Pistol Pete. I saw that as an opportunity to represent OSU, something greater than myself. So this past summer, Pete was requested to go to Las Vegas for a wedding. The appearance was at like 11 o'clock at night at the wedding reception, and it was like right downtown Las Vegas. And Pete gets introduced, fires his pistol, does the OSU, takes some pictures, and then Pete's out on the dance floor. I'm like about to leave, and I take the pistol out and like start to spin it a couple times, and it gets like knocked off my hand by somebody dancing. And like the room is full of like strobe lights, and I can't see anything and people are all around me and I'm like bending over like looking for my gun and like women are like like grinding on Pete and it's I'm like looking for the gun and it was like a total disaster I was like this is gonna be so bad like I'm gonna lose the gun in here and, and like finally like somebody kicks it like into Pete's vision and I like pick it up and, like holster it it was it was like a crazy like 10 seconds I'll like never forget it was so funny uh, Preston Whitlaw the Pete from last year and I had the opportunity to go up on set the morning of game day, we're hanging out with all the guys, Lee Corso. I just remember they were on live TV, millions of people are watching this, and Preston and I are like crouching back behind the little stand that they're sitting at, right behind Lee Corso, and we're just like looking at each other thinking, this is so funny, like, this is crazy, we're about to do this. Our cue hit, Preston and I stood up, put the head on Lee Corso, and we just start like firing our pistols too, and Lee Corso starts shooting his shotgun, and like the head like falls off and we have to like put it back on him and he shoots the shotgun again. It was so chaotic, but it was perfect. It was so much fun. It's something like 20, 30 years from now, I'll remember like it was yesterday. What I'm gonna miss most is uh, going to different places, meeting different people, and uh, in the end we could put that Pete head on and put a smile on somebody's face um, all the time. I'm gonna really miss that. Dave Martin, uh, Becky, Sally, the support that we get from them and the time that they put into this program is unbelievable. It makes us very fortunate. Uh, and OSU Police, we get to know them and all the time and effort that they put into like protecting us. We get to know them as Pete and want to say thanks to them too because they're a big part of what we get to do every day. T Money, Taylor Montgomery, my girlfriend, thanks for being awesome. Austin Johnson, thanks for being awesome, an awesome partner through this all. Uh, it's been a blast. Kitty's place. I should have been a cowboy. I should have learned to roll and ride. Wearing my six shoes, riding my pony. You know, I tried out for Palm because I didn't want to stop dancing. That was a goal. That was something that I had always loved, always loved being a part of. But I think what I will miss most, I know what I will miss most, is the people and seeing these girls every single day and being able to lift each other up be a part of something so much bigger than yourself. Not only in this team, but it's, it was representing the university. Um, I remember you know, just walking around, even my fourth year on the squad, you'd think I'd be used to it, but on a football game day, when a little girl would do a double take because you were in a uniform, and you wouldn't remember you know, why, why you had that influence or why her eyes got great big when she saw you in a sparkly uniform. But th those are things and responsibilities that we do not take lightly. And it has been an honor to get to wear that uniform, get to wear and have the power that comes with those sparkles in a little girl's eyes. Mom and Dad, thank you so much for not only supporting me with this goal, but going full out in being here. I mean, I don't think that you all missed a single game. Mom, thanks for always having me ready and making me feel confident enough to try this in the first place. And Dad, thanks for being the official OSU Palm videographer. I know that they will all miss you very, you very much. Palm tryouts, Dad? Palm tryouts, last one. <laughs> <laughs> last one, Palm tryouts. Go Julia. Becky, you truly don't get enough credit for all that you do. You are not only a coach, but a friend, um, another parent. You give us advice, you're there for us, and you also just build us to be the very best that we could be. I don't know what I would have done without your guidance these last four years. Bailey, you always know how to make all of us laugh, and I'm so proud of you and you chasing after your dreams and can't wait to see what you do next. Katie and Rachel, thank you for never letting me tell a joke without taking it three steps too far. Allie, uh, thanks for being my partner in crime and letting me control the radio on the way to workouts. You have become so much more than a friend. You're a sister. Madison and Shayla, from the moment that I made the team, I was so excited to be there. 
but I was more excited that you two were there with me. And I knew that we were gonna start a journey and a friendship that, that was forever going to mean something. I don't think that there's anything and any way to describe to people going through your freshman year hand in hand with two girls that I have so much love and respect for. So I specifically remember both my very first game in Boone Pickens Stadium and my very last game in Boone Pickens Stadium and looking up into the crowd and seeing 60,000 fans there for one reason. And being a part of that, getting to be center stage for that is something that you can't really describe to people. To all the girls on the team, the older girls that were there when I was a freshman, to the younger girls that are there now, every single one of you has taught me something, um, whether that is to be able to laugh at myself or have more fun or work harder towards something. I truly do appreciate everything that you guys bring to the team. That's what makes OSU Palm such a special thing and I can't wait to see where you all take it. Scott Petty, one of the main alumni pizzas, sort of puts together the, tr the trout every year. He had two sets of spurs, and so I thought there was going to be another round of interviews. So I was all had all my routine prepared, was ready to go in and go again. I was still really nervous. So then I saw that he had two pairs of spurs and then two badges, and I got even more nervous because I was like, oh wait, you know, this is it. Like this is where it's going to happen. And then he said, and Pistol Pete number 86, Austin Johnson. And then I don't think I can, I've tried before, but I don't think I can really describe what I felt in that moment. Because it was like the most shocked I've ever been, like the most, like the happiest I've ever been. It's really hard to describe just because it was just like shock and awe, but like in the best way possible. It's definitely one of the, if not the best moment of my life so far. Gosh, so there are too many memories to count, but as far as like one thing that really sticks out was uh, beating Bedlam for the last men's game I did as Pete in Gallagher Iba. And that was just because it was such an up and down game. You know, like I always love beating OU. You know, growing up an OSU fan, that's always one of my favorite things, beating OU in anything. So especially beating OU in basketball, which was also completed the sweep of OU for the season because we'd already beat them once in Norman. It's actually funny now. It wasn't very funny at the time, but before one of the football games, uh, it was later in the season. I don't remember which. So the person in the yellow shirt there, I, I had the head, the shotgun in my bag, and the person w wouldn't let me in. And I said, like, I, no, I, no, I'm one of the Pistol Pete's. And they were like, how do you know that? Do you have an ID that says Pistol Pete? And I was like, ma'am, I, I have the Pistol Pete head right here. Like, you, like you, can, you can see it in the bag and I have the shotgun here. And then she was like, she's like, no, no, no. She's like, no, I can't let you in without an ID. So at that point I got, I was just like, okay, whatever. Like I'm, you know, ga the game starts in 20 minutes. I've got to go. So I was like, well, I'll go to this next kid over there. Like they'll let me in. She's like, no, now that I know you have a weapon and then you're armed, I can't let you out of my sight until a police officer gets here. So then I had to sit there for 15 minutes, but then the OSU police got there and they were like, like, like what's the problem? She's like, he doesn't have an ID and he says that he's Pistol Pete. And then the guy, the OSU police officer was like, well, do you see that Pistol Pete head? And she was like, yeah, he's, like, he's good, just let him in. So yeah, little Pete, his name is actually uh, Britt Drake and he's from Guthrie. And I met Britt at Homecoming in Hoops. So I was sitting in the stands next to my mom and she like, nudged me in the shoulder and she was like, awesome, look at that. So I looked up and it was, uh, a little kid with a paper mache head of Pistol Pete. He saw me and then I pulled out my pistol and shot the rest of the bullets I had in the pistol and then he started doing the OSU with his little paper mache cowboy hat and I just thought that was the coolest thing. One of the coolest moments to see uh, a kid that you know obviously thinks so much of OSU and so much of Pistol Pete to create that outfit, come to Homecoming Hoops. Obviously Taylor and I couldn't do what we do without Becky for you know more reasons than I can count. Like I can't even begin to count the times that I've needed something and then Becky was the first person I talked to. And no matter how busy she is, no matter what she has going on, she'll always drop everything to make sure that Taylor and I have what we need. I know, I know she's the way with like all the Palm Girls and everyone else. So really just like a huge thanks to Becky and also to Taylor too. You know, I can't think of a better partner to have, you know, done my one year as Pistol Pete. And I just can't even imagine how it would have been without doing it with him. And just like all the stuff that we got to do together has been a blast and all the other stuff as well. Just like having his support of being the returning Pete and me being new. Like, you know, you, you feel like you're, every question, there's a new question every day when you're starting, but he was always patient, and I definitely couldn't have done this without him. They didn't let just anybody in that club Took every ounce of heart and sweat and blood When I first made the team, slight background story, 
I have never been so nervous slash stressed out in my entire life and those were the three hardest days because I think every second that was spent outside of Gallagher Iba I was just heaving crying like almost hysterically because I was so nervous and I wanted it so bad and I just knew that I wanted to be on OSU Palm more than anything in the world so I got my letter and I'm walking back to my car just holding it to my chest and I'm just not wanting to look at it and I get in my car and my mom's like okay are you like let's drive away from Gallagher before you open it don't open it yet and we're driving away and I see oh a good five people already celebrating like oh my gosh we're on the team and I'm just like there's no way I've made it now you know there's already five people that are celebrating so I immediately start crying the few tears I have left in my body and we didn't even pull out and just by instinct I ripped open the paper and I actually ripped the letter because I was so frantic but all I saw was the big congratulations and I just like <laughs> started crying and screaming and my mother bless her heart she almost got in a wreck because I freaked out so hard and um, I don't know that feeling is completely indescribable because it was just pure joy relief and just gratitude because I knew that the next four years of my life was going to be spent on the most incredible program and it definitely lived up to that so it was just the best feeling and the best memory. My favorite overall memory was my very first football game ever cheered. I cheered it with Meg Bennett, um, Ansley Jones and Taylor Scott and we went to San Antonio for the UTSA game so my first football game was not even here in Ben Pickens so I was kind of in a strange place. It was actually the stadium we played in the Alamo Bowl this past December. And so I was just this little freshman with little ringlet curls because I didn't know how to fix up or anything. And I put on these sequins for the first time and I'd never cheered a football game. And I go out there and they're all experienced vets. And I'm just this little rookie that has no idea what to expect. And I just remember stepping out in front of, I mean, it was UTSA fans, but still, I. Just remember stepping out in that atmosphere for the first time and being not necessarily overwhelmed but just so excited and cheering a football game for the first time is just the best thing and I wish I could relive that game all the time. To the girls who are on the team this year, who were on the team my junior year, my sophomore year and especially my freshman year, just thank you all so much for being teammates, being family and being forever friends. Allie and Julia, just thank you so much for standing by me this year and standing by me in past years as well. Just thank you for providing the love and the support and the encouragement through all the good times, through all the bad times. It's just been such an incredible journey getting to share it with you two. And also thank you to Shayla Williamson who was there from the beginning. You three are so special and you three provides such happiness and joy and comfort in my life and just thank you. Dang it. <laughs> it me so well. Why do I always cry? <laughs>